Welcome back. Hi and welcome back to the Polymer Clay channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do a really cool decoration on a little tin that I found online. So I bought it a little while ago and I thought, oh yeah, I'll, I'll make something out of that at some point. And I found it the other day and I thought, you know what, I have to do a video on this. So I found a design I really liked and I thought I would give it a go. So this one involves those little glass stone things. Um, I don't really know what they're called, but I absolutely love them. And I found a way to use some of them that I had from a project before. So without further ado, here we go.
Thanks for watching the tutorial. So, what did you think? I actually had a lot of fun and it's the first time that I've actually covered something and not took it all off and put it back on, took it all off. I just carried on with it and it turned out quite good. I'm quite happy with this and I am going to use it for some bits and bobs. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So here we go. Here is the full design. Um, the tin itself sits into my hand, so that's roughly the sort of size of it. It is quite standardized in sizing. And um, I like these because you can just cover them and put them straight in the oven. You don't got to worry about whether it's gonna bake okay or you know whether you've got to sort of worry about whether it melts or something like that. It goes straight in the oven just as it is and it works out great. So as you can see from the design itself, um, I made uh, the first sort of pattern and actually used a roller for that part. I absolutely love that. It's turned out so nice and I wanted to do more of it. But with me, I tend to kind of see loads of things and come up with so many designs and then I want to do them all at once on one project and that isn't just possible. Um, so I kind of held back, I had to hold back. Um, because I just wanted, I saw all these designs, I just wanted to do everything. Um, but yeah, so the patterned one went on first, and then um, I kind of added the dots. Now, the little balls, um, what I call dots, I don't know if they're going to stay on here. I would, if you're going to do this, I would suggest um, that you make sure you glue it in. I am going to put some super glue on this because I am going to use it for some bits and pieces. Um, I'm going to put some super glue on it so I think um, I would recommend that definitely. I haven't done any glossing or anything just yet because I I don't know I like the matte look at the moment so I think what I would probably do is glue it first see how much of the glue kind of makes it glossy and then I might have to uh, gloss it anyway because obviously super glue does have a tendency to be all shiny afterwards so I'm pretty careful where I put it and make sure that you can't see it. So yeah, then I used the, um, the little glass stones. I know they've got a name, I can't say it, so I'm not even gonna try. Um, but yeah, so I just built the design up as I thought. And as with me, I normally do gold with a hint of silver, and I thought, no, this time this has to be silver, even though the inside is gold. And I thought, oh, maybe I should go for gold, I don't know. But I just thought, no, this has got to be silver. I really, really wanted it to go that direction. And then the sort of the, the blue stones brought in a bit of colour. You'll notice also that I have made like a hint of gold um, and kind of just really lightly brushed over it. It just gives it a, like an authentic kind of old look, as you know I like. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely loved it. As I said, I think with the uh, all of the little tiny balls and things like that, they are going to be super glued down. Um, I'm I, like I said I'm not sure if I, I really need to protect it somehow I am going to try um, resin on my channel but I am not trying it with this I love this too much for a test piece I will be testing out resin soon I do have some now um, but yeah this is definitely not it so I'm probably going to spend um, a few nights kind of glossing it waiting for it to dry and glossing it again just for the protection of it and obviously for the mica powder itself so let's move around here. So I did these dots, um, I made them too deep and it showed the tin in underneath so I thought well I'm just going to push some more clay in there and then dot them again and I did them all the way around. Um, I like to have some sort of decoration on the bottom of this because otherwise you've got all the decoration on the top, it's very heavy on the top and then there's nothing on the bottom. So you'll also notice I put some glitter around the side here. I will put photographs at the end so you can see how that looks. Um, and also with a lot of the things I make as well, I do the shadowing. So I'll put the light in the middle and then the dark on the outside. Again, that gives it a kind of a worn look. So the reason why I do that is just so it gives it a different look. And I like things that are all the same color, but I've just started highlighting and low lighting and things like that, and it looks so cool. With sort of drawing, you can do the same thing, and it gives it such a different look. Um, and as, as you can see, around the bottom here, it's really, really dark. And then as you sort of go up, it goes more silver around here in the middle. As you can see, it's not completely flat. I haven't made it particularly kind of carefully or anything like that. I could have made this thicker so you wouldn't see it. It would be really flat. Um, but it only had to satisfy me and I only had to do it for a video so I'm not selling them or anything like that. So to me it was okay. And I think if you were going to make things like this and sell them you probably would want thicker clay on the bottom here so it didn't have all these fingerprints and dents in and stuff like that. But I like the, um, the kind of like the worn look 
um, and it kind of worked out just for me so that was fine so yeah the tin itself is quite top heavy um, I mean in terms of kind of like both of them that's why I covered this side as well this is why I did the bottom half as well because obviously otherwise it would be very very top heavy when I get um, a bit more experience with resin I would probably recommend resin because obviously it would protect everything um, but for now uh, I think this was actually really cool and I really loved it and I might use this design for a jar in the future so this is how you decorate a tin with a really fancy design with polymer clay Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. So let's move around here. So I did these dots. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna sit a minute closer. And I am gonna use it for my bits and bobs. And I am gonna use it for some bits and bobs for when I just don't. And I am gonna use it for some bits and bobs. Because I am gonna use it for some bits and pieces. Thanks for watching. Mono dry. Cheers. Bye bye.